What we're going to do next is we're going to show our designs to three other people and find out how we as designers can improve them. How do we make it simpler? How can we increase the discoverability? And what are the cues for feedback and how do we make those stronger? For a few tips, see the project brief on how to do an effective feedback session with users. Now let's watch Clifton as he shows his designs to Kathleen, a potential user. Notice how he interacts with Kathleen, and in particular, notice how he asks her questions. So Kathleen, imagine you have this new product, this digital wallet that you kind of, um, you can trade times with other people. Mm -hmm. So you start off here, and um, tell me what you see and what you would like to do. So it looks like uh, I have a bank and my, my balance right now is three hours and thirty minutes. Okay. So what, what would you do here? Uh, I would probably type in, you know, whatever I'm looking for, knowing what, that I have my balance and start, start looking for, uh, you know, a person to help me you know, trade or, or do whatever uh, I'm looking to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let, let's assume when you tap on this, you go to this screen. I'm going to say that I'm looking for somebody to clean my house so that I have a, a, an idea to, to keep going with. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my, my, yeah. And so now I've, I think uh, I would see that these are all the people who are near me and, uh, and what costs they have. Um, looks like the red and the green. Um, red would be maybe by myself. Um, I like that it is. Actually, something that I think it would be nice is if we actually started with the green and it showed me the things that I could afford oh, first rather okay. than the things that um, I can't afford because that's, that seems a little snubbing. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, look at this, you can't have it. 